Hey guys, it's Janie. Welcome back to the Bookworms, everybody. Um, I trust that everybody had a really good Thanksgiving. Mine was fantastic. Um, but I wanted to get back into the swing of things um, since we have more of the holidays to come. But I wanted to get a video done, and this one is going to be a book haul. Um, I know it's not been that long since I've done a book haul, but it's the art of buying books. It is a struggle, for real. Um... So anyway, I wanted to get this one done for you guys to have to start your weekend off. So let's get started. The first one we got here is End of, End of Days by Susan E. This is the third and final book in the Angel Fall series. Um, I had Angel Fall and Ruled After, and I had this one on my Kindle. And I just really been wanting to get this in physical form because the other two I have in physical form. And our used bookstore had it, and I saw, and I'm like, oh, buying it. So uh, if you really like, if you like angel stories, um, this one is a really, really good series, and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, it's definitely going to be worth a reread. So yes, there is End of Days by Susan E. Next we've got here is Wild Awake by Hilary T. Smith. I believe I picked this book up from um, the Dollar Tree. As you know, all their books there are a dollar. And um, this one just seemed like it would be a good book, so I picked it up. I love I love the cover of it and like the back of it with this like orchid on there. I really like that too. Um, anyway, I picked it up because it sounded like it would be something good. And uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to get to it, but hopefully soon. It's probably going to be... I mean, it's a YA, I'm going to say it's probably going to be like a YA contemporary. So there's that, Wild Awake by Hilary T. Smith. Next one we've got here is by Barry Liga. I got to um, <clears throat> read one of his books uh, for a, uh, or to review one of his books. Um, I Hunt Killers, is that what it was called? But I got to review that one. I liked his writing style, so I picked up Goth Girl Rising. This is not the first book. It is a series, uh, so I'm going to have to probably look for the other ones. But this one, it looks interesting. It sounded interesting. Like I said, I have to get the other books in the series before I can read it. But I like Barry Liga's writing, so that was why I decided to pick this one up. Next one we've got here is called um, The Hidden Child by Camilla Lackburn. Is that how you say her name? Um, I got this one at our used bookstore. It sounded really good. I wanted to get a, another mystery to read and maybe find a, a new mystery writer to read. So that is why I picked this one up. It sounded like it would be a really good story. So I'm looking forward to getting to that one. <clears throat> this one is called The Devil... Colony. It is the Sigmund Four series by James Rollins. My husband got it um, because it was on the sales rack. He got it for two bucks, so he picked it up. He's got a bunch of these books that he's not read yet, and hopefully he's got like the first one that goes to the series. I'm not for sure. I'll have to look, check into that. So yeah, The Devil Colony by James Rollins. The next one again was for my husband. This was called Persuasion. Heirs of Watson Island by Martina Boone. I don't know if he's read this. I don't know if it's like the first book, second book in the series, but we got it from my used bookstore. The series series is The Heirs of Watson Island. Um, so I don't know. Uh, I have a feeling that this was not the first book when he picked it up. So there's going to be other ones in the series that we need to get before he can read this. The next one we got here is Now You See Him by Stella Cameron, and I also picked up A Grave Mistake also by Stella Cameron. Not sure. I think I got these from Goodwill, um, if I can remember correctly, so I got them for like a couple bucks or so. So these are both um, mystery books. Um, I haven't checked into them, so I'm not sure if um, these are part of a series or not. I just picked them up because they were at Goodwill and they were cheap, cheap, cheap. So there's those two. 
Next we got here from one of my favorite art authors, Kristen Hanna. This is True Colors. Um, Kristen Hanna is a great writer, historical fiction, um, like romance books, what have you. Um, and this was one of them that I don't have because I have many of Kristen Hanna's books, but I did not have True Colors. So there is True Colors by Kristen Hanna. Next one we've got here is Requiem by Lauren Oliver. I do have a few of the other books to this series. Um, and this was one that I did not have that's part of the series. So I picked it up. They had it up there at the used bookstore. Um, there are notes in this book. Like, so someone was doing it for a discussion group or something. Um, there was also one somewhere closer up front, I noticed. Like, and it just, it's such a pet peeve for me to be writing in books. Like, right here, it's underlined. I did not notice any of this when I purchased the book. Uh, I noticed it afterwards, looking through the book. And I'm finding the underlines and the writing in the book. Um, I think it's something I can deal with. Um, I can always get a better copy at another time, I guess. But anyway, Requiem by Lauren Oliver. This next one I got, uh, me and Susan bought it together. It is Mystery by Peter Straub. We're supposed to read this one together at some point, I think. Um, I, I'm not huge on Peter Straub, but I guess we'll see. I read Black House that he wrote with Stephen King and just really didn't like it all that much. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what it's like. So this is Mystery by Peter Straub. These next two books are part of a series. My husband read both of them already. He needs to get the next book. I think there's two more. Um, Entice and Embrace. These are by Jessica Shervington. And this is an angel story, if you can't tell by the, like, the pictures of the wings on these. But it is an angel story. I do believe he enjoyed it. And I will probably end up reading them myself at some point. So, Embrace and Entice. They got those buttery covers. Um, this one is Eve by William Paul Young. I want to say that I already hauled this book. I'm not sure. This is Christian fiction, and I've, I've heard that this is a really good story, and I've just always wanted to get it. And we had it up at work <clears throat> in our book bin, and you get three for ten bucks. Well, I waited to the very last minute when they had them on sale, and I picked the book up. Um, yeah, so if I did already have this in a book haul, forgive me for that, but there you go, Eve by William Paul Young, or WM, I don't know what the WM is, it's by Paul Young. <clears throat> this next one we got here, I want to say I, I, I want to say that I hauled this one too, Year One by Noah Roberts, this is the first book in the Chronicles of the One. Um, I don't, I'm not a Nora Roberts reader. I've not read any of her stuff. I'm not sure where this book came from. There's no price marked on the inside, which is usually... Oh, it might have had a sticker on it. It might have been on the sales rack. I don't know, at our used bookstore. But this is Year One by Nora Roberts. These next two we got are by Karen Rose. We've got Alone in the Dark and Did You Miss Me. Um, these are mysteries I don't know I've not read anything by her but obviously this one's about with a detective and then this one is um, prosecutor a Baltimore prosecutor for this one so there's those two mysteries I love a good mystery these are by Karen Rose so we've got alone in the dark and did you miss me This next one is called Once Dead, Twice Shy. It's by Kim Harrison. I've read the uh, I can't, White Witch. Was it the White Witch Chronicles? Anyway, there was a series of books that I did read by her, and she's a really good writer. Um, um, but anyway, this one, I believe, is a YA. 
and I believe it was on the sales rack at our used bookstore, so I picked it up. So that is Once Dead, Twice Shy by Kim Harrison. The next one we got here is Nowhere But Here by Katie McGarry. This one's going to be a contemporary, kind of romantic contemporary. Um, Shannon Noyes talked a lot about her, and I figured I would. It was there. I picked it up, got it, so... It's a Thunder Road novel, so we will see what I think of that one. And then these last two books are by Sarah J. Moss, and I know I'm going to enjoy it because right now I'm reading Throne of Glass and absolutely loving that book. This is the other series, Court of Thro Thorns and Roses, and then I also got Court of Mist and Fury. Got both of these at the used bookstore. I definitely look forward to reading this series, too, because, like I said, I'm really enjoying um, Throne of Glass right now. I'm about a third of the way through the book, and it's just, it's fantastic. It's just, you know, just boom, boom, boom. There is action going on all the time, and I just like the premise and everything of that. So, I'm sure I'm going to enjoy that series as well. So, there's the book haul, guys. Um, if you know anything about these books, or if you read any of them, let me know in the comments below what you thought of the books that you had read. Um, but that's it, guys. Thanks for staying tuned, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.